Hey all, Church of SDFU. Um, so this is a video which is going to be talking about something which kind of follows on from the video I did a couple of days ago where I was talking about how the Foxconn factory was replacing uh, or threatening to replace its workers with robots and how I think that um, human workers are going to become increasingly less valued. Now, I believe this will be in the medium to long term, especially that's how long it'll take to hit industrialized countries. Um, but you can already see the effect on industrialized countries. I think the effect in the US is increasingly clear with people uh, in manufacturing jobs having lost their jobs a long time ago and cities like Detroit just being ghost cities. Um, it's also becoming increasingly clear by the fact that there are a lot of recent graduates that are ending up in McDonald's jobs. This is all part of part of that phenomenon. Um, and while there will be ups and downs because the world economy still has a lot of growth room and whilst that growth potential hasn't been fully realized yet, there is still scope for um, big kind of increases in 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 growth which may temporarily require more workers. Um, but nevertheless I think the the trend for the industrialized world is downward from here on in uh, if we follow conventional economics because in the West um, people will become less and less needed. Um, and there's another two articles in the the Spiegel, a German magazine, a quite um, reputable one, that I wanted to talk about which uh, the first one was a study finding that Germans are becoming increasingly dissatisfied with their workplace, unhappy at work. Um, and this mirrors studies that have been done in many places. <laughs> and this isn't really this isn't really a joking matter when you consider that people spend um, a large part of their lives working. Um, so the fact that people are getting less and less happy with their work and their workplace is not a good sign. The second is that in the last 20 years in Germany hospitalization for depression has doubled and this is not because it's now being correctly diagnosed where before it was not no this is um, um, just just part of the growth of depression as a serious major illness uh, in Germany and the same pattern is uh, apparent in many other industrialized nations as well and I can hear some people saying, well, you know, what do, what do rich white people have to complain about? They're not starving somewhere. They sh you know, what are they moping about? And there's a grain of truth to that, obviously, but that's not how humans work. Humans work in a relative way, relative to their surroundings. And um, also, simply being at a job, the pressures that can be exerted on people are tremendous. Um, they are so tremendous that they can shred the psyche of people over time. Um, performance pressures of all types. So <laughs> it used to be that you had your obvious jobs that were quite stressful. Nowadays more and more jobs are falling into that category, especially now that often you can just be threatened with, well, there's 50 more people waiting in line so if you don't perform you're out on your ass. So this paints the other kind of part of the picture. Before before we all become unemployed we lead less fulfilling lives with jobs that are actually becoming harder with conditions that are becoming worse in our jobs and society is getting mentally less healthy. We're getting sick in our head as a society and I think that is also what um, what the actions of uh, deranged individuals uh, kind of do highlight. This increasing alienation that people feel towards the system in which they exist. Both uh, their workplace 
but then also through their workplace um, society at large people feel increasingly like they're not part of anything and I know that there are many individualists who think that's not really important um, that's just something those crazy collectivists or whatever that silly label is that they slap on people like me uh, think about ooh community ooh that's not something I need oh well you know if you want community just go out there and find it nothing stopping you right um, again that's not how it works for human beings um, yes there are some people that go out and find communities they can fit into but increasingly people are simply not managing especially with the little time they have left as spare time which people often spend um, with more or less destructive habits like television or consumption of alcohol because their other existence is so monotone and at the same time stressful that they require just something to get away from that they're just escaping their everyday life which makes up the bulk of their life and that's ridiculous that is really ridiculous that is a such a sad sad state to be in um, as a as a species that has mastered the skies and and space and the genome um, the fact that we are becoming a more alienated society people are becoming more and more distant from one another Th these all sound like cliches because people bring this stuff up so much and I almost sound like 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 a conservative what am I gonna talk about family values well yeah sure I am sure I'm gonna talk about family values sure I'm gonna talk about families should have enough time to spend together and fathers and mothers should not both have to work eight plus hours a day from the time their child is born um, and children shouldn't be forced ever earlier into some kind of education system just so they can graduate even earlier and earlier every year and then start immediately into their new lives all of this should not be happening and people should at every stage of their lives have the ability to express themselves to enjoy themselves and that should also happen in the workplace and if we're s using this system then that means regulation because we need to regulate to make sure that workplaces treat their people fairly or we could try to develop some kind of more democratic way of dealing with workplaces where people have a say in the environment that they work in um, but either way I think things just can't go on the way they are I mean they can but we're pushing more and more people to breaking point and most of them don't explode like those those uh, few do that end up in tel on television on a shooting spree most just fizzle out they just shut down give up they die inside to use another cliche term we're becoming a world of zombies um, and and the funny thing is we're all becoming zombies out of this great spirit of competition we're competing one another into the ground we're competing to be better off than the next person but all that does is allow other people to blackmail us into doing something that makes us less happy into doing something that deadens us more and turns us into lesser beings because yeah humans are pretty cool humans when allowed to flourish are very very cool things indeed in general some exceptions obviously um, but we're really stifling all of that we're starting earlier and retirements ages are just up right it's gonna be you're gonna be retiring when you're 85 um, and at the same time we have massive unemployment 
so we're forcing some people to work insane amounts of time until they're finally allowed to die other people not getting any employment hopefully dying early because they lack medical care um, and that that's that's our brave new world we didn't even need any kind of big dystopia that's that's another one of those amazing things people always obviously it's it's a bit more kind of romantic and um, and worthy of, of a movie or a book to to paint everything as a dystopian future and to have armies of clones or robots or or, or some kind of evil mind melding machine control us all but it doesn't need that at all I don't know who said it but there's that term the banality of evil evil is so banal evil is in every workplace that destroys someone's uh, happiness and their creativity evil is in every life situation where people are working in a system that makes them care about each other less because that's how they can win the game in that particular system that's the banality of evil the banality of evil is a system where a company makes more money if they cheat and steal and destroy everything in their path because even if they're caught the fine is less than the money they've made that's the banality of evil in today's world. We don't need a Hitler. We don't need a Stalin. We don't even need Bill Gates to become world tyrant. We're doing it all ourselves, all under the banner of progress. Church of SDFU. I'll see you guys all later.